It is January 19th, and Crystal and I are hiking Mount Muller Trail today. 13 mile loop in Olympic National Forest. It's uh, overcast. Looks like it's gonna rain, but uh, we're gonna do this. I don't know what creek this is. Littleton, Littleton Creek? Yeah. yeah, that's what Simon just said, huh? Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Crystal tells me there's a whole bunch of switchbacks up here. It goes pretty much straight up to the top of the ridge. So, anyway, I'm going to stop filming and hike. All right, we just did the first switchback. It doesn't really look steep, but it is. And we're on to this next one. Winded already. It's gonna be a workout. So this is exactly what I needed. Day one of training. Crystal's very ambitious. <laughs> No, this is day two. Oh, day two. Yeah. Yesterday was just a warm up. Okay. There we Getting warm. Yeah. Well, that's a long hill. This is a long hill. Going? Going? Yeah. Yeah, so we're about halfway up this hill. It's really kind of cloudy out still but it looks like it's trying to break up. We just had to stop and take off some layers because we're sweating already. So we're going to finish climbing this hill here and hopefully we'll get into some sunshine soon. All right we're still doing switchbacks. We just came up that one. Oh, now we're going up this one. And uh, we've climbed 949 feet in one mile. And I'm dying already, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> yeah. See how we're coming up? Whew. Look at that, sun's coming out. I'm trying to anyway. Crystal's wearing me out. She's just cruising up these hills. I'm wearing myself out. <sighs> Lots of switchbacks. And we still have a couple thousand feet to climb. <sighs> Here's the next one. Woohoo! Oh well, nothing, 
This will definitely get me in shape. Okay, we've got about two and a half miles. I think we're done with the switchbacks for now. Um, there's a trail coming up. Kind of on a ridge here. And we're heading up this way. Uh, sun's trying to pop out. Yeah, so, so got another eight and a half miles to go. All right, we've made it to Oasis Creek. I don't know if you can read that. Apparently this is it. Looks like a runoff to me. You know, I guess it's enough that, oh, there it is down there. This is runoff. There's the creek. So that's a pretty good runoff to have a name for it. <laughs> yeah, I can see there is a creek down there in the woods. So we have about four more switchbacks to get up to the top of the ridge. We just did about three miles. So we're getting there. It'll be easy sailing from there. <clears throat> I'm hoping. All right. We are still climbing. Crystal's up ahead there just flying up this hill. I think we have about three more switchbacks after this one. I don't know if you can kind of see. Rain. Uh, yeah. I forget what the elevation was at the top, but I think it's, I don't know, 3,300 feet. Might have been more than that. But we were like at 27 last time I checked. So, hopefully there's not too much more. Yeah. I don't know if you could see very well, but you could just see a little bit of the mountains at the top of this ridge. The sun is trying to break through. Um, this is the trail we just came up. It would be pretty good views over here of it wasn't so cloudy but I can still see a few snow peaks over there through the trees ah, hopefully the Sun will come out up here and we can really see something when we get to the top all right we're we've gone four miles just about at the top of the ridge Coming up on Grouse Meadows. Grouse Meadow. Ah, grouse Meadow. Grouse, I, don't I don't see it. I don't see a meadow or a grouse. Nope. Huh. Oh. Oh. Whew. It's chilly up here. Look at the clouds through the trees. Can you see that? We're in the clouds. Yeah. Interesting. So we just got up to Road way down there. 
highway and Olympic Mountains. And Crystal. Hi. She's freezing. Hi, freezing. It's a little windy up here. Yeah. So we're gonna eat some lunch and uh, keep going. So we're at Jim's Junction. Currently we have 2.3 miles more to go to Mount Muller. Um, it's freezing up here. We just passed a little bit of snow. Uh, we just stopped. Uh, this is a trailhead that goes to Close Naniche. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but there's a fire tower up there where you can see forever. We went up there this summer. So that's 3.7 miles. We are going this way to Mount Muller. 2.3 miles. We still got 9.7 miles apparently to get back to the trailhead. This is a loop. My app says we've gone like 4.4 miles, but according to this, we've only gone three. So I don't know what the truth is, but it felt like more than three miles. But who knows? Uh, this is the way we just came from. Crystal standing over in the sun trying to get warm. She's freezing. So, anyway, we're just uh, um, cooking up some lunch. I'm really glad I brought my stove. We're going to share a lasagna and have some hot tea. And then uh, keep hiking. All right, talk to you soon. Um, look at this ice on these. This is like this one tree. It's really cold up here. But if you can see that, that's ice on all these branches on this tree that's just laying here. This is completely white. Kind of a cool area. It's uh, we're kind of fogged in again after we got off the ridge where the sun was out but completely it's like we're in a completely different forest now uh, a lot bigger trees kind of spooky kind of spooky yeah anyway check out this view Let's skip right over the top of you Oh, that sun feels good. Oh, yeah. Alright, we just got done eating lunch. Oh, look at that ridge top up there. I think that's where that tower is, maybe? I don't see it. Alright, we've got about 5.7 miles. Um, I just thought this was really cool right here. The sun shining through and the clouds. Doesn't Crystal look angelic? <laughs> majestic. She's feeling majestic. Because this trail is kicking our ass. It just keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. We're not even to Mount Mueller yet. I'm starting to be a little concerned. We're not even halfway. And uh, hopefully it starts going downhill because, in other words, uh, Crystal might be carrying me back for the last half of the trip. Okay, just had to stop and look at this amazing view. Again, we keep getting lucky and getting uh, some sun. It seems like every time we get, you know, close on top of a ridge. It's pretty freaking amazing. Let's 
bit of a steep trail. This is going down. <laughs> We're back in the forest. Oh. forest. Oh, this is Jasmine Meadow that we just went over. There was a sign on the other side of it that said Jasmine Meadows too, so apparently that was it. All right, and we're heading back into the forest, which means we're gonna get cold again and have to put all the layers back on that we just took off. <laughs> so, I'm starting to get a little worried that we won't be done with this by dark. Uh, and it's freaking cold. But anyway, I'm gonna stop filming and try to get some mileage in. All right, so I am going up to the top of Mount Mueller. It's 0.1 of a mile from the sign back there. This hike was a little bit harder than Leah and I intended it was gonna be. But, I gotta say that we that I went up to Mount Mueller. So here we go. Oh. Okay, so I, I made it. Here's the elevation sign. Let's see, what does it say? Elevation, 3,748 feet. Holy cow. All right, we're heading back down the switchbacks. So we got up to Mount Miller and we were exhausted. It was already three o'clock. We decided it would be better to take the 5.7 miles back down than trying to do another seven and a half to finish the loop since we were probably gonna run out of daylight. So anyway, we have probably about two and a half miles uh, switchbacks downhill to go. And we're pretty beat. Pretty sure my ears have frostbite. They are so cold they hurt. But I uh, took my gloves off and put them inside my hat to try to warm them up because I'm sweating so much that my hat's been soaked. I've gone through three, well, two hats and a baklava and I still have them on, but they're wet, so my ears are cold. Um, so anyway, this has been a rough hike, but uh, maybe it was a little too ambitious for us to try to do all these miles uphill. It was like, I don't know, almost 4,000 feet. So anyway, lesson learned. And I'm going to turn my camera off so I don't run out of battery. 